Former South African Archbishop Desmond Tutu died at the age of 90 on Sunday. President Cyril Ramaphosa celebrated the Nobel laureate and icon of the country's anti-apartheid movement as a non-sectarian, inclusive champion of universal human rights. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro has said that he will visit Tehran very soon, at the invitation of his Iranian counterpart Ibrahim Raisi. Iran has been a key ally of the Maduro government as both countries aim to protect their respective economies from the debilitating effects of sanctions by the United States. Two people were killed and seven were wounded after a missile launched by Yemen's Houthi rebels hit the Saudi city of Jazan on Friday. The attack also damaged infrastructure, including two shops and 12 vehicles. The Saudi-led coalition said that it carried out airstrikes on the same day and destroyed several Houthi missile depots. Australia has refused to impose new public health restrictions, despite the country reporting a record surge in daily infections and its first death from the new Omicron variant of COVID-19. Authorities have said that although case numbers are high, hospitalization rates remain low. Russian state-owned gas giant Gazprom has denied allegations of limiting gas supplies to Europe to put pressure on the European Union over the Ukraine conflict and the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. As gas prices across Europe rise, Russia also condemned Germany for reselling gas to Poland. A top Taliban military commander has warned Pakistan against firing artillery towards Afghanistan, saying that the group stands ready to retaliate. The warning comes amid fears that Pakistan could attack the northeastern Afghan province of Kunar.